friends welcome back to my channel for the people who have already subscribed my channel and for the people who have recently found my channel a hearty welcome back a hearty welcome to my channel i am yashwardhan an electronic enthusiast as well as an electronic engineer who likes to work with electronic circuits in the previous week this is a part 2 of the video where i will be discussing about how you can test the different types of switches that are used in the electronic circuit in the part to give you just a recap of the part 1 in the part 1 i have discussed about the different types of switches that are available in, that we be using in electronic circuits and also how I, how they are working if you anyone missed that video i request i keep the link to that video in the description box below as well as the top of the i button just watch that video first and then come and watch the second part of this video in this video we be doing i be telling you two methods one method is using the multimeter other method is using a simple a basic circuit in electronic in order to test this circuit so you know now let us begin so in order to check with the multimeter connect the probes of a multimeter connect the probes of multimeter to the multimeter and keep the multimeter in the continuity range okay continuity range and just turn it them you are here as well that means the multimeter is working perfectly fine now i recommend you to use two wire with alligator clips in order to easily test this circuit as it is having flat pins and in a slice it all these are very close to each other it might be difficult so i recommend you use these switches just connect the connect the wire with alligator clips like this to your probes of the multimeter now first let us uh, let us see how we are test let us test this spsc switch or a simple on off switch connect the two probes of the multimeter in any order now as this, as i have mentioned this way, the this is in off condition so as the switch is in off the the multimeter is not giving any beep sound the moment i on the switch you will observe the beep sound is coming that means the sound is that means your switch is in on position so from this i can conclude that we can see that we generally have two symbols like this so whenever the we are keeping the switches in the, whenever the circle position is in downward direction that means switch is in off condition and uh, whenever this line condition is downward that means the switch is in on condition so that's how we can differentiate the circuit easily now the next type of circuit the next type of switch which will be testing is a spdt switch as i mentioned in this position the switch is closed between both this between this term this two terminals the switch is closed between these two terminals also the switch is open that is all the three terminals should be not connected to each other let us keep the probes like this see this way there is no beep sound that is this is an open circuit and always in spdt switch the the exterior terminals are always disconnected to each other here also the switch is in off condition only now let us push the switch in the switch in upper direction now you observe the switch is uh, is open in the off condition between these two terminals but the switch is in on condition between these two terminals similarly when i push the switch in downward condition now the switch is in off condition between these two terminals but however when i keep like this the switch is in on condition if i keep it here the switch will be in equilibrium that is the switch is off in condition between both of this uh, pair of terminals so this is how you get testing an spdt switch let us next test this spdt spdt slice switch so in order to test this connect your uh, connect the alligator cable between these two terminals now now as the slider is in this position the switch is all in off condition between these two terminal however it is in on condition between these two terminal now push the slider in this position now the switch is off condition between these two terminals and it is in on condition between these two terminal so our spdt switch is there now just to do it like this now you will observe the switch is in off condition between these two terminals as well as between these two terminals also so that means this spdt 
as per it is right switch is working perfectly fine now let us move on to the next one which is a sp dpdt slide switch you need to test first of all you disconnect this alligator clips and connect the uh, probes like this in order to check whether both the rows are isolated to each other or not now you can see that both rows are isolated to each other both rows are isolated to each other now again connect back your uh, alligator clip, wire with alligator clips to this circuits. Now connect the alligator clip between this terminal and this. Now as the side is in this position, the switch is in off condition between these two terminals and between these two it is in on condition. Now move the slider here. Now the switch is in off condition between these two terminals and is in on condition between these two terminals. So by this we can say that the top row is working perfectly fine. Now moving on to the bottom row. Now as the slider is in this position, the switch is closed between this or uh, in common condition between these two terminals and it is in off condition between these two terminals. Now move the slider here. Now the switch is in on condition between these two terminals and between these two terminals the switch is in off condition. By doing this test, we can say that our DPDT slide switch is also working perfectly fine. Now let us move on to the next one which is the let us see how we are going to test this dip switches with this circuit. The process is same, just connect them between these two terminals like this. And the moment you keep it in on condition, the switch is, the buzzer is going on. If I keep it in off condition, the switch is in off condition. That means it is working perfectly fine. Now connect between the second connect between both uh, both of this you connect in the second one like this the moment it is on it's on but if i off this it will be in off condition similarly connect the uh, connect between the third pins like this this is a little bit tricky one so you might want to do it very carefully because these pins are very delicate and if I on this, it will buzz away go. So that's how you will be testing your dip switcher. This is a very simple, similar to your SPSC switch only you test. These switches are working perfectly fine or not. There is no nothing. Only thing is that instead of a single SPSC switch, you have a combi different uh, number, uh, number of SPSCs are connected in a single package. So that's how you will be testing. Now let us test this. Uh, push button switch. Now in order to test this, just connect this here. Without pressing the button, you connect it here. It is, uh, the switch is open between these two. Between these two is also it's open. But if I connect here, the switch, these both lines are connected. Similarly, if I keep this uh, like this, you will observe these both lines are also connected. Now one thing you do, you keep this the uh, Keep this probe as constant only. Now you press this button and now you check at different probes. Now it is a there is a connection between here. There is a connection between here. There is also a connection between here. So that means this SPD, this your button switch is working perfectly fine. As I mentioned in the previous video, that is the always this column and this columns are always connected. But whenever I push this button, all these four terminals become connected. So your push button, momentary push button switch is also working perfectly fine. The last type of switch is this switch, which is the on off switch. It's a button switch. Just connect the terminals like this. As you can observe in this uh, position, the switch is uh, conducting. The moment I push this, the switch is in off condition. That means this uh, button switch is also working perfectly fine. Now I hope friends you have gained a good understanding about how you can test where these uh, different types of switches using a multimeter. Now let us uh, suppose if someone uh, suppose the, when you are using the multimeter, the multimeter is not working per uh, perfectly well, or else you are ha not having a multimeter at that point of time. However, you are you have access to a small breadboard and some LEDs and some res uh, some resistors and leading and also some batteries available to you so how you can check that 
simple now let us see that so now in the next uh, in this part of this video i'll be showing you a, i'll be using a very simple circuit the basic circuit that anyone will build in a, while doing the electronics which you can use not only to uh, test for switches you can use the same circuit in order to test any kind of electronic components so the coming on to construction you will be requiring a breadboard or the different switches you want to test a resistor and then uh, and an led and your 9 volts battery or any battery of your choice now between two columns you connect your resistor now take the led connect the positive positive or anode of the led to this resistor and connect the cathode or the negative terminal to ground now connect the negative terminal of this battery to this negative ray now take the positive terminal to the positive battery you keep this probe i get okay and to this uh, resistor other than also you keep this carrier now this will have, act like your probes between these two you can then the moment i connect it you will observe this is a simple circuit wait a minute yeah this is a simple circuit basic circuit anyone will design in electronics that is you have a battery uh, to which you are connecting a resistor and a led and you are blinking glowing that led so this circuit is very much useful in order to find the continuity between two circuit so now let us uh, take this spsc switch now key, as the switch is in off condition you will observe see the led is not going by the moment i keep it in this position the switch is glowing that means the led the spsc switch is working perfectly fine now let uh, let me test this spdt switch now if i connect it between these two terminals as they are isolated you should observe in any position the, the led is not good but however if i connect it like this and if i keep it in upward position the led is good if i keep it in downward the led is not good if i keep this in downward position and if i connect it here now led is good if i push this the led is not good but it is good okay so so the spsc switch condition is also verified so your sps spdt switch is also working perfectly fine now let us test this uh, slide switch now as the switch is, as the slider is in this position so between these two terminals it does it should be off and you are seeing led is not glowing the moment i push this the led is glowing that means this is also working perfectly but uh, between these two terminals wait a minute just uh, just yeah you will observe between these two you should be very careful when you are keeping this because even if this uh, even though the switch is not connected but even if you connect the both the wires together you will observe the led is led will go because then instead of the switch these both wires will be shorted and you get your current will pass so you should be very careful when you are keeping this placing the probes now keep it in this position as it is going if i push it the led is not going that means your the slides spst spdt slide switch is also working perfectly fine now let me test this dpdt slide switch now just connect it like this such a way that both the probes should never touch each other see the both are isolated to each other now let us uh, perform the same test as this is here now the switch is going if i push it in there the switch is not uh, this both will be in off condition but when base the switch will be in on condition now uh, let us uh, check the down uh, down row also see the switch is uh, if i push here the switch is off between this and but we can it the switch will be in on condition that wait a minute oh both are shorted so that sorry yeah now see it's okay okay see that means your uh, this dpdt slide switch is also working perfectly fine now next let us test this uh, this switch which is your uh, dip uh, four way dip switch 
but uh, this uh, switch instead of doing this you can just connect it like this now connect the switch like this just uh, connect, place the uh, forward DIP switch on this breadboard carefully and between these two terminals you want to connect connect it here to one terminal of the switch you give your posture as it is in off condition that it is not good if I move it now it's all similarly move on to the next before thing on it is off but uh, the moment I switch off it is off thing. now similarly if I keep this here and see it's also working perfectly fine now last uh, last switch also you check in the similar manner and if I see the LED is glowing that means you can say that your DIP switch is working similarly you can connect your 8-way DIP switch and 10-way DIP switch also and they will also the, uh, obey this and it will follow this now now again keep uh, keep this broke and let us make it easier to check this push button switch now connect it uh, connect it between these two terminals you also the LED is not going but if I connect here the LED is going if I connect to this also the LED is not going as the button is not pressed you see the LED is not going but the moment I press this button now see between these two terminals also LED is going between these two also LED is going if I keep it here also the LED will grow that means whenever I push this button all these four terminals become connected so you can observe here but the moment I remove the button again the opposite terminals are not connected only this columns this both columns are uh, always connected to each other so you can say that your push button switch is also this uh, momentary push button switch is also working perfectly fine this is how we are testing it now let us finally test this uh, push button switch also connect the connect the probes here and press it as it is in on condition your LED is good whenever it's off condition the LED is not going so uh, this is also you can say that this is how you can check the different types of switches so now I hope friends you have gained a basic understanding on how you can use a simple resistor and an LED and a battery and some wires in order to check this, all these types of switches whether they are working perfectly fine or not now you may have a doubt that is yes should then it's okay that uh, you will be these are all uh, discrete or you, these are not shoulder to anything so you are able to check it but what if they are, should, uh, they are shouldered onto a PCB and you want to check it so for that just do one thing to wherever you keep to hit this column you keep this LED and you connect the positive terminal to one of this power list and you keep this there now you this board will act as your probe if I get this the LED is good now just touch if you observe these both are the uh, different leads of terminals of the switch which is shoulder just be between the two leads of the switches on the PCB you touch them and if there is any connection the LED will glow so that's how you will be doing that so now I hope friends you have gained a basic understanding about how what are different types of switches are there and also how you can test them simply by using this circuit if you have any doubts related to this topic please feel free to come ask me in the comment section below or if you want me to do any video on any particular topic in electronics please also comment that down below and I'll make a video on that topic if you like my explanation please like this video and share it with your friends and if you uh, share it with your friend and also subscribe my channel to see more such videos I hope you have liked my explanation friends uh, thanks for watching friends and thanks for watching friends and I'll meet you again in a new video with a new concept until then thank you friends and have a nice day